Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of the Human Experience Challenge where Amara, our sim, who is an alien in disguise, is trying to experience life on Sim Nation. And so far she's met Don, she's met Caleb, we have moved them all into a little house together. Um, she's moved into Strangerville to try and solve the mystery there. Then after she's finished the mystery, we're going to move back to San Maishino and continue her life there. So, um, let's see what's going on. And also, I've forgotten to mention that the human challenge... Human challenge? Human Experience Challenge is um, a challenge that was created by Lizzie Sims and the link is in the description of this video and also of all the videos in this series. So, um, last time, Amara, what did she do? She managed to meet Mother, who was down in the basement, a huge alien plant sim who is in the basement of the secret lab. So now we have some things to do. We have to vaccinate three sims. We have to recruit th three sims to help stop the source of the infection. And then we have to defeat the source of the infection. So let's see how we get on. Um, how tired is she? She's not that tired. Yeah, she's not really that tired. But what we need to do is get them a light. Do we? Uh, oh. I'm not even sure we have enough to get her a light. F2, build mode. I don't think we have enough for a light. Objects by function. Did I click that too fast? I think it did. Yeah. Yeah, lighting. I know, we can get a little light and a kid's table light. But there's nowhere to put the kids' table light. Can we get any kind of ceiling light? No. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting. Exit does not escape out of the menu. F1. Okay, well in that case... Well, she's got another couple of hours before she goes to work. Yeah. So if we can hold out for three hours, let's press three and get things moving a little bit faster. If we can hold up for a couple of hours, then we'll just wait for her money to come in. But Don and Caleb seem to be hitting it off. Oh, she got oh she got promoted. Well done, Amara. Um, she receives an additional twenty simoleons an hour, for a grand total of fifty-four simoleons an hour. She's also received the following bonus: seven hundred and fifty-six simoleons, medal of questioning, and new clothes. Okay, that is great, Amara. Now, let's get you up. You need to get your fun up. We won't worry about that right now. Um, don't you have a new medal to put in there? Uh, no. Can I just drag? Yes, drag it in. Um, is that good? Yes. Eat the pan, pan de muerto. And what else can we get you to do? You're hungry and you need to bring your fun up. I need to bring your social up. We'll talk to Caleb. Because they they became best friends. Is it best friends or good friends? In the last episode. Uh, good friends. So hopefully that will help with their... Um, when it comes to romantic stuff. Because you can't just spam romantic socials anymore. And get them to, to do things. You have to have a good friendship before they decide, well, yeah, I really want to do this kind of thing. Okay, work from home, Amara. Yeah, you can't just spam them. You have to get a good relationship and then you can you get more success with the romantic socials. Okay, let's fast forward through that. And... What do they want you to do? Run on the treadmill. 
Okay, let's get you to go run on the treadmill. So let's get you to run on the treadmill, Amara. I know you're bored. You'll get to watch the TV while you're on the treadmill. Let's kick somebody off one of the treadmills. Oh, there's one free. Uh, no sweat run. I think she will watch it automatically. Right, let's fast forward through that. Yeah, she's watching it. Yep, she's watching it. Good, good. Oh, did that register for your work? Yes. Alright, let's get you off. And let's get you to the secret lab. Who is... Do I know... Oh, that's Don. No, that's Jay Huntington the Third. Who are you? He's one of the townies, but I don't know who he is. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> um, stop the run. And let's get you to the secret lab. Okay, so to create the back, the back scene, I know you need five spores. No, yes, five spores and Ooh. one fruit I'm per vaccine. So we have two bizarre fruit. And we have the 15 spore clusters, so we need another bizarre fruit. So let's nurture the um, bizarre plant. I want to see what this looks like from her perspective. Shift tab. Okay. You've done that. Great. Wow, so the, the, the strange cloud is up ahead, is up above. But that sky looks very menacing. If I was living there, I'd run. That is really cool. Okay, let's shift tab out. And now... Where are you, Amara? Oh, it was this one. And now harvest bizarre fruit. And if we... Let's see, if we need to go in the lab, use the key card. And then let's go down and create experimental vaccine. And let's fast forward again. Okay, so she's made one. She's made one. Create another one. I should have just queued them up and then we wouldn't be there waiting. Okay, she's getting hungry, but that's fine. Because after she's finished this... Oh, you're not tired. Oh, you're tired. Amara, you're supposed to have some kind of alien stamina. You're supposed to be able to, you know, get through these things. Get you home to get some sleep. Okay, how bad... Oh, everything is tanking. Do we have... No, there's no aliens in the plumbing. Let's use it quick. Don, what are you... T oh, you need fun. Maybe we should get... We should get, let me see if we can, oh, we need to get the, um, the light. Let me see, F2, build mode, while Amara's using the toilet. Let us get the light. The kid's light is the cheapest light, and it gives so much, so much light. It's really awesome. And a wall light for the bathroom. Eh. I think the kids will light as well. Okay, and also we need... I wonder if you can put a stereo on a shelf. A shelf would be under surfaces. I don't use shelves all that often. Um, so I have no idea. Let's 
try with the cheapest one, the kiddie shelf. Let's put it over the bed. And then if we go to electronics, audio, kaboom box. No, it doesn't. But you do have wall speakers. Residential wall speaker. So let's put that. Let's put that above the stove. The only problem is when somebody wants to sleep, that's going to have to be turned off, but that's not a problem. All right, turn it on and electronica. It's playing. All right, well, let's see. Will you start dancing? Oh, yes, he starts dancing. And that will bring up his fun. Good, good. Right, Amara, let's see what's next for you. Go use the shower. Take a brisk shower. I think that's, um, it would be energetic. And that will bring our hygiene up. Don, you can clear up after yourself. Oh, a trash can or a sink. Do we not have a, oh, we don't have a trash can, do we? Uh, where can we put a trash can where it's not going to give them rooting problems? Uh, search by room. Sometimes it's easier to search by room than by um, by whatever it is. That goes... Is that enough space? I don't know. Let's see if it will fit. No, it's not going to fit between... No, it's not going to fit between there. It's not going to go there. In the corner? If you put it in the corner, will that stop the sim from getting in the corner? I hope not. Okay, so now we have a trash can. Throw that away, Don. Throw that away. Oh no, you'll do it automatically. See, that queues up, but then when it comes to collecting spores, that doesn't queue up. You're going... No, don't take a nap, Amara. Leave the nap. Um, cook. Vegetable dumplings. Let's do family size of that. So yeah, Don, you keep... Oh, God, really? All right, Don, can you... No, don't take out more food! Don, you can resume that. And now you're going to complain that there's nowhere to to put it right, can you resume that now no put that back in the fridge now you can resume it sims you're so silly so so silly okay so the music does um really some i'm sure there's a there's a mod for that that if some if somebody's eating, if somebody's cooking, then the other sim won't get anything to eat. All right, so your social talk to Don, discuss interests. and your energy really has tanked. I guess we are not going to get anything else done today, Amara. Go on, go to sleep. Is the music going? Oh, no, I think the music does stop you from sleeping. Turn off. Sleep. Oh, that didn't stop her from going. Okay, great. Dot and Caleb's just come home. Yeah, when a sim comes back onto the lot, then... Is it when it comes back onto the lot? I think the time slows back down. Why are you not going fast? I'm not interested in anybody else, just Amara. All right, now let's see if we can, if we can administer the vaccine. Okay, 
Right. Let's see if we can find... Let's zoom out. Let's see if we can find any weird sims. No, nobody's infected. We've got some people here. Why are you tense? From oh, from the bear, from the bears, because it's bears night at the at the bar. I mean, so I put you, I took you to the bar, and nobody, nobody's infected. The one time I actually want somebody infected and nobody's infected. We have some people here. They're fine. Somebody there. They're fine. There's more people here. Nobody's infected. Not a single person. Isn't that disappointing? Well, that's really disappointing. Well, in that case... Let's, oh, well, there's lots of bears. Where's Caleb? Go talk to Caleb. Ask risque question. See, now we know it's a romantic social because it had the heart. Really, Caleb? No, he doesn't like that. Uh, oh, oh, is he non-committal? You know, I never thought to check. Where is his traits? Um, traits. Materialistic, ambitious, foodie, and gregarious. No, he's not non-committal. So I don't know why he doesn't want to talk about romance stuff. Right, let's see if we can find any more infective sims. If not... Because that it really is a bit of a bust. Usually they're all over the place. But I'm not finding anybody. How strange. Maybe all the infected sims decided to stay home tonight. The bear scared them away. No, oh, well, you're not happy. And Amara's not happy. I think you might as well just go home and call it a night. Yeah. Oh, you need to, oh, uh, we need to get you plasma pack. Oh, you have mail. I've just realised that. Is it? Yes, the mailbox is up. Uh, pay bills and get mail. Okay, she's paid the bills. Was there any other mail? Experimental vaccine? No. It doesn't look like there was any other mail. Maybe all the the um the infected sims are sleeping. All right. Well, Amara, in that case, you sleep. Hey, Caleb. I wonder if you'll sleep next to Amara because you are good friends. Uh, try to calm down, friendly. Alright, they don't have the best end things, but I wonder if they will sleep in the same bed. Because once their friendship level is... Mm, no, okay, sleep. Sleep in that bed. <laughs> Who's stinky? Is that you, Caleb? I'm seeing a green trail. Yeah, that's Caleb. And Don just came home. Well, Don, you can sleep there. Because that's where you guys used to s Oh, no. That's Caleb. Oh, sorry, Caleb. Alright, well, you sleep there, then. I forgot I wasn't... Sleep. Just go and sleep. Right, I'd forgotten I wasn't... Um, was it clicked on him? Let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, two hours to explore. That can go back in the fridge. That can go there. Caleb's awake. Let's keep you guys going.
Okay, he's just contemplating. Oh, time for Amara to go to work. Let's work from home. And they send you for a jog. Right. <laughs> go take an angry poop. <laughs> that is so funny. How long is that going to last? Another four hours? No, oh dear. Well, take an angry poop, Amara. Well, I guess you can't anymore if there's vines in the plumbing. And... Um, uh, Locum, alright, you go and sleep, Caleb. You've got a couple of hours before you start work. You have a couple of hours. Go and get some sleep. And hopefully... Let me see. What Kayla, uh, Amara has to do... She has to go for a jog. If I send... Oh, have something to eat. If I send her for a jog, then she'll get money. If she gets money, then we can buy a laptop. Or a computer. A laptop. Because it turns out the socials that I needed... The, the little item that I needed to buy the plasma it was there on the laptop I just missed it because I'm blind and you're still angry alright go take a bath everybody's dirty <laughs> that's quite funny we're all dirty but we're just going to just stand around and, oh, Caleb is too dirty to go to work. He's too angry. Too dirty. Um, I don't know what to do with Caleb. Can you call in sick? Let's see if we can call in sick. Um, travel? No. Work. Take a vacation day. Can we do that? Or would that be from tomorrow? Okay, so today's a vacation day. Uh, check his work. He's on vacation. Good. Right. So Amara is getting focused. How, I don't know. And, oh, go for a jog, Amara. And then we can get some money in. Uh, more choices. Go jogging. Just go jogging. We can get some money. And then we can get a computer and get Caleb sorted. Right, Caleb, you can empty trash. Oh, you need an outdoor trash can and we don't have that. Um. Okay, build mode. Trash cans. Is that the only outdoor one? This is the cheapest outdoor one. Yeah, that's the cheapest outdoor one. So that can go there. Right, you empty the trash. Uh, irresistible first. Yeah, we just... Oh no, now we need more money. That's not good. We need more money. Because I think the laptop is a, is a thousand simoleons. Okay, let's... Uh, we didn't get as much done as we wanted to. Alright, let's send you to the library and you can order some plasma packs. Oh, is he, oh he's just stinky. I thought he was dying to smoke. Um, computer. Off the computer, human. Order plasma packs. Alright, let's get him... No, we can't get him ten. Let's get him... Oh, 
two, three, four, five. Let's get him five. Okay, why did you do that? Oh, he's going to drink somebody. He's too hungry. Sorry, Caleb. And he's doing it in fuel view of everybody, and they're not very happy. I did try. He did go for six days resisting to drink people. He's bored. Why is he bored? Oh, guilty drinker. Okay, go home, Caleb, quick. Go home before the people lynch you. Go home. There must be somebody who's infected. They're always cutting through their lot. There's got to be somebody. Oh, there's somebody coming. I can see someone coming. Um, press pause. Ted Roswell. Test experimental, experimental vaccine. Okay, let's shift tab. I want to see how this works. <laughs> really? I don't think we're supposed... And he just walks off normally. Okay, that didn't happen. Oh, there's somebody else. Pause. Zero. Hannah Hudson. Test experimental vaccine. And again, let's shift tab and see what happens. God, that is still <laughs> just so scary. The bat seam has caused some kind of reaction. But keep testing other possessed sims to see how it works. Okay, I see somebody else. And um, this. Oh god. Pause. Let's click on you and test it. And no, there's somebody else who's possessed. And test experimental vaccine. Okay. Okay, so what happens now? Uh, it seems to be isolating the infection. Head back to the secret lab to create in the infection vaccine in the chemical analyzer. So we've got to go back and do it again. Really. Well, in that case, I think we will have to do that in the next episode. Because we have run out of time. So Amara tried to create a vaccine. See, now that I don't want infected people, they're coming out of the woodwork. Oh no, that's the that's the girl she tried to tried to um to help before. But um so yeah. So it wasn't a total bust. We managed to create a vaccine. Where were you sleeping, Amara? On a bench. Great. But we we created a vaccine, we've tested it on some sims, and it seems to be working, we have to go back and create it again. So we'll do that again in the next episode, and hopefully we'll be able to vaccinate three of the sims and get them to stop us, to help us stop the source of the infection. That's it for this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe for more great content. It will help to grow my channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.